What does it feel like to have this day finally arrive for you? Um, it's truly a dream, you know. I mean, a lot of the guys, we've put in countless hours and years of our lives to just this moment right here to be able to perform in front of all these teams, you know. It's, it's a dream come true, man. And growing up and just want to pursue this dream and finally being at that stage and that opportunity where I can actually continue to improve myself and continue to follow this dream up. So it's, it's a dream come true right now. And to do it kind of full circle in your own backyard, in your hometown, how special is that? You can't really put it into words, you know. I mean, I lost my ways for a little bit, went out to Iowa, had a great experience out there. Love that place. It was a second home for me, but being able to come back here to such a loving state and a loving team, loving coaches that in, in, engulfed me into their program and just took took me for who I am and used me for the best as I could be and just taught me how to continue to grow as a person and as an athlete and potentially as a professional. So, I mean, I'm, I'm extremely thankful. I'll be Sun Devil forever. And uh, it's great to do it in my own backyard with having all my family right there and not having to worry about them flying out. So, who do we have out here today? We got my mom, my brother, my dad, my brother's wife, and my girlfriend, Morgan, awesome. and my agent, Tyro. Yes, most important. Yes. <laughs> For this stage of life. Um, when you think about your journey, I mean, the injury that you had to overcome two seasons ago and transferring and all of that, I mean, how much more meaningful does that make this moment for you and your family? It's like, it's hard to put in words. I mean, I've been through a lot. I mean, at my old school, battling through injuries there, losing my spot because of injuries and coming here and having such high expectations for myself to have that just, that rug ripped out from underneath me with that first game. Uh, it really made me dive back into myself as a person and really have made me found my why again and why I love this sport so much and who the people I surround myself with is so important. Um, so being able to take that lesson I learned from the injury and continue to grow like that has been huge for me and my development as a man. Um, so, I mean, I'm very thankful for the injury. I mean, obviously not physically, but emotionally and mentally. I mean, it, it gave me a new drive for the game and it gave me a new why and it just let me know that moments are so short lived. So I have to make the most of every moment that I have now. What do you feel made the strongest impression on these scouts today? Just my diversity. I mean, I was out there center snap, long snap, yeah. tackle, guard, you name it. Uh, just my diversity and my ability to play multiple positions within a, within a millisecond, you know, being able to switch that because there's people that take a couple series to transition to different positions, but being able to just do that on the fly, I think is my greatest attribute. So are you open to moving positions? Absolutely. Yeah. Wherever I can see the field is wherever I'm at. Joey, what was kind of the process like mentally preparing for this moment? You said how much it was important to you, but what was kind of the mental process coming up to today? Uh, for me personally, there's a lot of motivation um, and just kind of meditating too, you know, finding that happy space and kind of controlling my breathing was the biggest thing because you get out there, I mean, that first 40 yard dash, I'm looking down those lanes and I see just lined with people. I mean, it gets to you, the nerves are at an all time high today and the anxiety, all that. But with everything I've prepared myself for, being able to control my breathing, bring myself back to real life, and at that same, that exact moment, I think was my best benefit. Gotcha. And then, just yeah, just what was the hardest part part for you today in terms of just the overall workout? Was there anywhere where you felt you could have done better, or where you really exceeded besides kind of the diverse, diversity you're talking about? I'm uh, very very happy with my results today. I don't think there's, I mean, there's obviously going to be room for improvement everywhere. Um, but I think I, I showed my best of my abilities today. And if people want to see more, they can go watch the film. So, I mean, I think I did exactly what I needed to do today. How does it feel to kind of set the mark for the bench press? It felt great. You know, I just kind of, I was talking earlier, it was meditation for me. Like before that said, I just brought myself down to my core and I just had to mentally prepare myself. I stopped counting after the first two or three and I was just going until my body really couldn't anymore. So. I'm, I'm very happy I was able to set that benchmark high. I wish I could have gone a little bit higher, but you know, I mean, I'm just thankful for that opportunity to be able to set that bar high. How long have you been practicing meditation? Um, it's been in my routine for about a couple years now. Um, when I was at Iowa, I got hurt and, you know, being away from family, I don't really have anyone to physically call upon. Uh, I have my teammates and all, but you know, I mean, you can't really beat family, the people that have been there since day one. Um, so I kind of had a deep, deep dive into myself and just learned that meditation is the best way to calm myself. Um, you know, because I mean, a thousand miles away from family and anyone that I really have that deep family connection with, um, it's tough, you know, being there. There's not a lot of sun in Iowa, so it's always dark, a little bit cloudy, so it, it'll weigh down on you a little bit. But learning that meditation really helped me. I mean, and it's helped me today, you know, going before the bench, before the 40, before all my drills, I really took a second to control my breathing and just recenter myself.